Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Thursday, September the 24th. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your trading room. Any questions you may have for me, you can use this email address. The link for the free room. Yes, it is a free room, 100% free. You do not have to be a member of Trade Ideas to be in our trading room. The room is open Mondays to Fridays between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Eastern Time. I share my screen and I am live on the mic. In the email you're getting, you will see a link to my home page. All right, if you click on that link, you'll see a subscription. Uh, you'll see a promo code for subscriptions. You'll see other links, educational links, a trade of the week link, etc., webinar links. So it's a good link uh, to click on, and that's from my home page. Well, um, you know, before I get rolling on today, uh, I have to give a big shout out in the room to Amen, Amen in the trading room. Um, yesterday, he made a reference to Sun W, and I think it was right around here, it was still under a dollar. Now, if you recall, SPY went absolutely crazy yesterday. SP, SPI, absolutely nuts. And, you know, an EV, electric vehicle play. And he mentioned, he mentioned SUNW, said, guys, you might want to just keep an eye on this one as a sympathy play to it. You know, and I don't typically look at the ones under a dollar. So you can see, I mean, he talked about it right around here. And then look what it did once it took out a dollar. I mean, this got up to 460. I mean, I traded this one. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, when I did my video um, yesterday, this, you know, this, this hadn't happened yet. Otherwise, it would have given a big credit uh, in the video. But even today, I mean, I, I, you know, look at this move here in the, in uh, pre-market up here. I mean, these, these little EVs were just going crazy. Now, this is what I did in the pre-market. And, uh, you know, when I look at the prices now, it's hard to believe that uh, this happened, but I took this OEG. It's a, again, another one. I thought, well, maybe just maybe it could do the SPI today. So I took this in the pre-market. It uh, got in at just over a dollar. I traded most of it out uh, right, right around here at a dollar seventy-five. Then as it was falling down, I think I got out the balance at one thirty, hoping that maybe it would just base. But now it's you know, it's a nothing, absolutely nothing. But you know, it had that look like like uh, SPI. Now the difference probably is that SPI whatever you might think of the news release it had saying that we're looking to create a subsidiary that's going to you know develop uh, electric uh, uh, vehicles i don't think these guys even had a press release but you know traders were looking at something that was maybe similar the other one and they did have a little press release and it was very very similar to uh, to spis uh this is another one that i took pre-market net element and i actually thought that this had a great great shot to get you know uh, up into the 20s, maybe the 30s. I took this one right here, I think it was 1113 or so, 1113, right, right around here. Sold some out uh, right here, and then on the way down, uh, 11, 15 something. I saw it get up to 17. Right here is, I almost took it again when it took out 12. I thought, okay, a lot of these bottoming tails, the, the, the seller's been trying to knock it down. I thought, well, maybe, just maybe, and look at the volume that came in on that candle. I thought maybe this could get it really rolling in. It just didn't happen. So I didn't take the trade again. But man, oh, man, I mean, this only has $4 million in the float. And I thought, geez, I mean, this could really, and it has incredibly similar press release as the SBI did yesterday. You know, basically saying we're going to get into the EV market too. I mean, whether they do or not is irrelevant. You know, when you see these press releases, we're, all we're trying to do is see if we can, uh, you know, go along for the ride, uh, along with a lot of other traders. You know, we don't have to get into the bottom. We don't get out of the top. I always say if we can capture the middle two thirds, you can make a good living in the market. Now the AI, I actually had, uh, I took this trade here. Now this is a good, I want to bring up the 15 minute or the five minute chart on this one. This was an AI alert. And here's the alert. This was a short, okay? There, you can see right there, there is the alert at 8.43 to short it. Now, I do not like the early alerts. Uh, not, you know what? Sorry about that. I just want to get rid of my sound alerts on my phone, driving me crazy. Just a minute. There we go. Sorry about that. So I don't like taking early alerts, not, you know, certainly not with the AI, but not even mine. I like to th see things settle down, you know, give it at least 15 minutes typically. So look what happened on this one. 
there was a short, 8.43. It did move down. I don't know, maybe I've missed it. But look at this. Look how it popped up. Remember, that's 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Okay? Popped right back up. And then it moved down again. And I didn't take it quite at the, right there. There, there was the alert at 8.43. I actually got in right here at 8.31. Just like the way it was trading. Uh, I thought, okay, um, it was, you know, the, the initial AI alert maybe was a little bit early. And then look at the move down it had, you know, and I got out most of it down here at 750. You know, so from 8, what was it, 830 down to 8, or sorry, 750, a great percentage move. More importantly for me, though, look how steady it was, you know, up, until we get this bottoming tail, you know, which, which occurred of was capitulation. You know, this was just a beautiful, beautiful, steady move down. So that one, and I'm just looking, um, I'm seeing another, this is out of the price range I like to trade, but uh, there's another one from the AI, pretty good one, 2671, 2761 right now. So that's over a dollar, I guess. Uh, not, not a bad move. It's just out of the price range I like to trade. A little more choppy though than the GLNG. So anyway, um, yeah, I want to get back into the room. See, maybe we'll get one of those, um, maybe the EVs will catch fire again later on in the day. And we'll see if we can get a little rush again. So I want to get back into the room. So I'm going to close down this chart, bring back the capture program. And if you have any questions for me, you can use this uh, email address. This is a link for the free room. I will open the room tomorrow at 9 o'clock Eastern. So I hope to see you in the room tomorrow. Bye-bye.